Okay. Literally, I'm probably like the only person that's going to review this palette that doesn't watch Bailey Syrian. I know I'm not in for rock. I know about her. I know she does true crime. I heard she's amazing. But I've just never dove into her channel. And I don't know why. It's no reason. I, I just haven't. So don't get me. But she created a fabulous eyeshadow palette. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as I just admitted, I've never watched Bailey Serious channel, but when I saw this eyeshadow palette with her and Melt Cosmetics, I just knew that I had to have it. The color story is just beautiful and it's all matte. So let me go ahead and introduce myself before I get carried away. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're only but goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley and eyeshadow. Mm, it's my favorite thing. It's my jam. That's what I love to talk about on this channel. Now, Mel Cosmetics released this baby right here, and it was a whole collection. You know, she had bag lipsticks, gel pot liners, the whole works. But I just decided to pick up the eyeshadow palette, and here it is. It's a gorgeous, in the standard fashion of Melt that we have liked and come to grow and love, you know, since they started actually doing our eyeshadow palettes. If you guys don't know, Melt was actually the company that did the stacks. They did stacks back in the day, and then they started with the eyeshadow palettes. But this is a beautiful, beautiful matte palette, and I just love how it came out. It's called Fatally Yours. Retails for $58.99. I did just check the website. Today is December 10th and it is still available. Um, and I actually did not purchase this right away. I had just gotten back from Vegas. I went to the Creators and Friends event. And so that should have been what around December 3rd or so that this palette released. And I woke up from my nap many hours later and was like, oh shoot, Bailey, <laughs> serious palette came out. And I went ahead and purchased and I didn't have any problem. So like I did mention, the palette is available specifically to the Melt Cosmetics website. It is not on the Sephora website. They are carried at Sephora. I do not know if this is coming from Sephora. Right now, only Halloween Town, which is their Christmas collection, is on that particular website. But this is described as a carefully curated by Bailey Syrian herself. This palette includes 10 rich and velvety shades in our signature ultra matte formula and this matte formula is not coming to play okay unleash the boldness with you in this gorgeous grungy color story you know i love a good grungy color story i was here for it the second i saw the color story it was just no if and buts about it i didn't have to think a lot of times when i see palettes and when they're released i'm like oh my god yes i want it and then i take a step back and I'm like i don't need it i don't want it I, I think i can live without it and i don't end up picking it up but this one right here, I said, yes, I will be getting this, okay? And it says they're ultra blendable, buildable, and ultra pigmented to, for the most unique color combinations every time. Everything has shocked me. Spoiler alert, okay? Everything is very pigmented. I think you're not going to have any problems no matter what skin complexion you are, which is important. And they just blend so well. I am thoroughly impressed. Now, you know, when it comes to Milk Cosmetics, they're a brand that I tend to love. I've been following them through the years. And when I've been trying their palettes, I'm like, every time I think about the packaging, the packaging is always just really nice. You know, it's sturdy. It kind of fits the brand of the packaging. They put so much effort into it, all the little details of the packaging, even like the little part that we always throw away, like this is Bailey's eyes, you know? And even when you think about the Beetlejuice collection, all of that, it was scenes from the movie and lately Mel I don't know I'm concerned but they're really like in their downturn area they're in the flop era so I want them to come out of that flop era and I think with this they can do that so I, I'm just concerned I don't want the brand to fold so I need them to keep turning out things like this so as I just mentioned before there is the unicarton of the palette it says make good choices and it has a little tagline by a bailey on the back this is saying once you open it the palette's good for 12 months keep your makeup in a cool dry area generally it will be okay longer than 12 months once you open it now brings me to my next point my next thing 
with the Melt Cosmetics that I've been having a little issue with. I purchased the Gemini 2 palette and in 2021 I opened it up and it just came out that year. I never had an issue with anything molding or anything like that and there were little mold spores and several other people had the same issue with the shimmer shade. They sent me another one, had the same issue. So I think that this will be okay. These are all mattes. We're going to check the progress of it because I haven't purchased anything from Melt since that happened. But it's something I do want to know. But usually it's okay. It's not an issue. The palette net weight is 17.96 grams or 0.63 ounces. Uh, this is distributed by Melt Cosmetics and they're saying the packaging is um, recyclable. There are also just a couple, couple of warnings. It says you definitely want to keep out of reach of children. Um, if you have any type of eye irritation, you want to discontinue the use of the palettes for external use only. And then I actually do see, I don't see any warning about actually just being like a pressed pigment palette. It looks like it is all eyeshadows. And because in the directions, it's just saying apply around eyes as desired. Okay. And then the ingredients are on the back in this little sticker. And I felt like this is well done. Like the sticker is on there straight <laughs> uniform and everything is just really nice when it comes to this particular palette. And I love on the front that it has some type of embossing also and with her eyes. And I think she did a fabulous job on it. It's really pretty. It's right up my alley with this color story. Oh, and the mirror. So in the, in the palette with also texture of the shadows, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead. I got three looks for you per usual. And I'm going to follow up with some thoughts in between, of course, with the final thoughts at the very end. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You know the drill. I have my eyebrows filled in using my Groove Proof Pencil Shade 3.75 by Benefit Cosmetics. I have my eyelids uh, primed and ready to go with the MAC Contemplative State uh, Primer, and it is the same shade as my skin complexion. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to play with this all matte palette. Um, well, it was a little crumble of shadow right here, I guess, from transportation in the shade Mercury, but it's okay. And I think first I'm going to start with this. I'm going to kind of use it in the color like quads or trios that make sense. I'm really excited about this. Really excited about this. I'm, I'm not excited about all of it. Ooh, it's, it's a good little layout. So let's see what I can create. All right, already I'm excited because this shade Cyanide, it is showing up. It is a beautiful mustardy brown shade. And sometimes these particular shades on my complexion, they don't seem to pop or, you know, they'll kind of blend right in, but this is nice and I didn't even pick up that much. I have uh, one of Angie's brushes, the E. Zero 03. I, I need to uh, go ahead and get the, the, the other brushes that she just released. But I really like her brushes also. But yes. So that was the shade Cyanide right here. Okay. I am, yes, here. Here for it. Mm -hmm. That is good. That is really good. All right, I'm going to shut up talking because, you know, I'll be on here just wasting, wasting film.
All right, I am back and here are the first two looks. And this palette, it is nice. I am in love with this eye right here with these fluffy lashes. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes. But let's see, oh, this is style 429. So they're very fluffy, full, but not too heavy. But I did have to cut them to fit my eye length because they were a little long. So they are a little bit longer it's in terms of like length. I don't feel like they're too much, but I love how this came out. So immediately when I started working with the mattes, I noticed that Okay, these are pigmented. She did not come to play. So even the shades that I thought were going to be a little bit lighter were not, uh, i.e. kerosene. And the shocker of them all was phosgene. I thought that was, look how deep it is. I thought it was going to be more chartreuse. I think it's still very beautiful, but I just thought it was going to be a little bit brighter. These mattes are not plain. So immediately, you know, I was impressed when I put cyanide on because look at that. You could still see this color there. Then I layered thallium on. That layered nice on there. I went in with the smaller detail blending brushes so you could see the differentiation of colors. I don't feel like you wouldn't be able to see them, but I just know myself over blending this blue right here with the teal kerosene and then uh styroxine and then the black was really nice too it was just everything is really lovely now arsenic i would just went ahead and put it on the outer uh edge of styroxine because i just wanted to see if i was able to like kind of blend it out buff it out without losing the color and i was able to do that it also doubles as nice lid shade on this eye I put it in here also to just kind of give a little bit more brightness. And with the lashes and everything, I do like how this came out. Like the mattes are matting and I can't wait to use my, um, Saren. I can't wait to use her namesake and these three in here to see what type of look I come up with. But so far, I'm very, very impressed. Like it did not take me a long time to achieve these looks. Everything went on flawless. Uh, the mattes, they're beautiful. They're not patchy. They're very pigmented. They're very blendable, easy to use. They pack a punch. Um, I was just able to just kind of go ahead and buff them out. I only stamped them into place where I needed to, but I didn't feel like you had to stamp them into place to achieve color payoff, which sometimes you do. But these are good. These are really good melt mattes because, you know, sometimes... We don't have that or it's just been a little lackluster lately like my ring light right here y'all is like just in my eyes I, I gotta fix it I'll be right back all right I'm back that's so much better I had to like tilt it the other way and this eye is still like okay really from all of that light coming into my eye but I was like the lighting's perfect but I can't see you know what I mean so I just want to go over my face details really quickly, but I, so far, loving the performance of these shadows. Really, really great. I went in with my Yummy Skin Foundation. This is a new addition to the collection. I bought this in Vegas. Thank you, Beauty and the Frizz. She made me buy this. I'm not even mad at it. The skin is yummy. So this is shade 18 golden. You know, for Pat McGrath, I'm usually like a medium deep 22. Um... What is it? Rare Beauty. I've been wearing, what is it? 430W, The House Labs. I was telling y'all the wrong shade. This is so damn small. Okay, 400 Medium Deep Warm, what I've been wearing. And I paired it with my Pat McGrath concealer in the shade M20. And she's almost gone. But this foundation has been beautiful. I've been wearing it for the past few days. Really impressed. By me, it's Danessa Myrix. Can you, like, blame them? And then for the rest of the face, I kind of went in with all milk products except for my Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo. This is the shade Tan. I've been really loving this. This is just, like, sitting in my collection, and I pulled it out. You can see I've been getting a lot of use out of that. Then I went in with one of their holiday blush palettes from, what is it, two years back when they had them uh, Amore and Mariposas. This was the blush palette. I went ahead and took this shade and mixed these two highlighters together. Really pretty. Then I went in with one of the duos. I love these duos by Melt. These came out, I want to say, maybe 2020 or 21. 
just to add a tinge more shimmer to the face. I already talked about the lashes. I just have on a black liner, which is by Pat McGrath. This is the Extreme Black Liner and the Permagel Liner. And then for the lip, um, something that Kara also got me to get. This is the Gucci uh, Louise Orange Lipstick. So these are the Rouge de Butte Brilliant Lipsticks. Look how beautiful the packaging is of this. And it's like a glossy lipstick. So... Yep. Beautiful. Now her palette did come with a bunch of lipsticks, but I just opted for the palette and I really just bought, bought this lipstick on a whim. I need to go through my lipstick collection because it's out of control. A lot of them I don't really wear anymore. So I want to go definitely declutter and see what I actually want to bring into my collection before I just start adding things to my collection. But this, the Gucci lipstick, beautiful. So this is the face. I am loving it. Let's come back. Let's do one more look. All right, I am back. Here is the third and final look. Oh my gosh, if this is not a most beautiful smoky eye situation with, you know, different colors other than blacks and browns. It's, it's smoky, but it's not too much. And everything just blended so well. And these colors went together really well. As you can see, I started off with the shade, uh, let's see, rinsing and oh my gosh it was a beautiful you know green tone went in with sarin um and then took kerosene and popped it on the lids and i just love how this came out i am absolutely in love with this palette i think she did a great job the packaging it is giving standard good melt packaging i mean even the unicarton it's beautiful as well the matte performance uh, first of all it's an all matte palette so i'm gonna need it to matte i'm gonna need it to blend well i need it to be pigmented and it is she did so well with this collection and i think everything just turned out so beautiful uh the price point of 58 dollars i think that's pretty much fair when we're talking about melt cosmetics yes it's a little bit more on the expensive side but that's usually what their palettes are and i don't mind if it's going to be good i'm really excited i need melt to continue to do things like this and I feel like they per picked a perfect person to collab with them. You know, lately I just feel like they've been like on a little downward spiral and I don't like that. I really like Mel Cosmetics in general, but the Halloween Town, I really wasn't thrilled about that collection. I felt like they were trying to come back. You know, they had the Zodiac collection last year. They didn't even have any uh, holiday because I guess of all the drama of a Mary Mo um, um, you know, the Mariposas palette, but I just want them to win again. I'm just concerned. So you're going to have to pick this up from the Melt Cosmetics website. It doesn't look like it's coming to Sephora. It's not on the website. I just double checked and the palette is still in stock. So if you're thinking about it, I would definitely go ahead and pick it up. I think it is a fabulous palette. I also feel like it's going to be a fabulous companion palette. Palettes that I'm thinking about that is going to go well with. I'm thinking about Adept. 
um, Sumerian Sunset. I think it would be a great different twist with that. I also think it would be great with the Inspired palette. I also think that you, even though you have really beautiful mattes, I think it would really go well with the Harvest Moon. Any type of single shadows that you already currently have, you know, like Terra Moons, or I have a lot of Glam Shop stamps, uh, singles from Glam Shop Poland, or just if you want to mix and match, you know, I'm a big advocate of matching up with your palettes, but I'm loving this. I am impressed. The mattes are just blending so smooth. So let me know what you think. My favorite look, I would say, is this look. I did like how that second look came together with the other blue. I was taken aback about how I just, I think the only change for me, I would just want this to be a little bit brighter um, when it came off versus grungier and I feel like that would have made it just perfect in my eyes But other than that, I'm very impressed. I mean the quality the standard how you know The weight on the packaging. It's just really great and not to mention like I like I said I've really been side eyed email melt lately because you know, I got That Gemini 2 palette and remember when I opened it what was it last year and it had those white spots in it I asked them to send me another one. They did. And you know my second one has some white spots in it too. I've never had makeup do that to me. Only time makeup has ever like had a mold situation was when I had a mold situation long before I started YouTube and have the amount of makeup I have now. And it was with my MAC singles. There were some issues with the foundation and my condo building. So they corrected that and it was some mold and it had immediated. But I've just never had any shadows just kind of turn on me so that made it very frustrating and a little disappointing but other than that i'm very pleased so this is my favorite look that first look i did was great also let me know down below in the comments which look you enjoy give this video a big old thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when i come out with another video and as always you know we gotta hit it with the chaddies chaddies hey 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 chaddies hey Mm. All right, y'all. Bye.